Hi guys, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food. Today, uh, I want to do another video because I want to help everyone. I've had a lot of requests on my Instagram about what to buy for the 14 week self quarantine period, like what food to stock up on, like people that don't know what to buy, which will last for a while. So I decided to do a video today to help you exactly solve this problem. Uh, obviously I'm a chef, so my background is from there. I'm gonna go to the supermarket now. I haven't actually been to supermarkets in London yet, so hopefully that will be still all right. Um, because we're not on lockdown yet. Um, but if you are on a lockdown, you want to think about the next couple of weeks, what food you can have at home that's easy to cook, that doesn't, you know, is non-perishable, doesn't go off. Um, and um, I will also talk about what other things you might need if you have, you know, people are not thinking about things like, you know, having paracetamol or other medicine in case you do get sick and you have to self-quarantine or if you get pain. So, I will give you a list of everything also at the end of the video um, and under the video I'll just post like the main things but otherwise right now let's stay positive let's go to the supermarket mommy has to go to the shops yeah mommy's going to the shops all right you little cutie yeah you little cutie you did you order food for him no no yeah no we need to order you food as well <gasps> yeah we do I'm all ready to go. Also, you know, um, I have an allergy uh, to dust mites. So every time I cough, which sometimes happens, you know, when you're allergic, I cough and my eyes are itchy. And now every time I cough, like, everyone's like staring at you and like being paranoid. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't even cough. Like, cause you know, every time you cough now, it's like, it's not a good sign. <laughs> anyway, I'm on the lift now on the way to the shop. So let's see what's happening. Shelves are literally empty there, you can see. I'm just gonna get some fruits, some vitamins. Pastries are still going now. So you can stock up on things like tortillas because you can freeze them. Um, and pretty much any bread as well, if you like bread. Um, but these are not essentials and stuff. There are no lemons, but I'm gonna get limes instead. They're still really good. Okay, so it seems that our London shops also are pretty empty. Um, yeah, no food such as pasta obviously left. Just some like cooked ready things. So I have to shop online. So most of the free sections are actually empty. Um, but I do suggest uh, to get like fish, frozen fish, frozen meat. If there is left, there's some chicken left. You can get veggies as well, but they're not as filling. So you basically want to get food that's very high in calorie. I'll show you what I got later at home, just because it's a bit funny to film here. So I just got back from the shop. Like you, uh, like I told you, there wasn't much. I'm just going to show you what I got from the things that were left out there. But if you can do online shopping, I'll give you a list of what you should buy. If you can't do online shopping, you can buy stuff that I recommend. So you definitely should get basically what you want to do. You want to get stuff that's really high in fat and calories and will last you for a while. So like butter lasts for months and months in a fridge. So I got butter. This is just for me to eat for breakfast. Um, I got some cheese, but this is again, I usually use this in my recipes. But the cream cheese and all the type of cheeses that last for a while in your fridge. Um, I got the last canned tomato and that's to make some stews and things like that. So if you can get like almond butter, peanut butter, any types of nut butters because they're really high in calories and you don't need a lot. You can eat a couple of spoons with bread or whatever and that will make you full. I've got some oil. Um, I also got some muesli because there was no porridge left, but I do recommend getting porridge, but you can also get muesli. So muesli are really high in calories because you've got your fruit and nuts in here so they're actually quite healthy but they do have sugar so usually i wouldn't eat muesli so much but you know who knows i got some cheese uh maybe a lot of people don't know but cheese can freeze really well for up to three to six months that's my sister just eating here her lunch <laughs> um uh cheese can freeze for for a very long time um so you can freeze the cheese I got some potatoes because I'm going to make a stew. I also got a lot of frozen chicken. Well, a lot. I mean, like a couple of bags. Uh, again, you can keep them in a freezer and they will last you for a very long time. 
And then um, from meat, you know, get something like this, gammon joints. Um, this is quite a big piece. And what you can do, you can freeze them and make like a stew that will last you for several days. And you can also freeze the stew. So I might do some recipes for it later. I also got okay. ginger. Um, there was no lime, lemons left. So I just got the next best alternative, yeah. which is limes. Passion fruits, that's all that was left. I also got a lot of nuts. Sorry, my yeah, sister's in the call. Got lots yeah, of nuts, right. salmon, <laughs> sausages that freeze well my as well. Just come back from, um, and puff pastry. I uh... <laughs> need to get you food. Give me a paw. So I'm just gonna go to a different room because my sister's working on a call. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, there wasn't a lot of food that I could get at the supermarkets, but then you can order stuff online, okay? So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through things that you should definitely buy if you're gonna do online shopping. So basically, ideally, you want to get grains, you know, grains such as rice quinoa, couscous, buckwheat, uh, lots of beans, and you don't have to buy canned beans. You can buy these like raw beans in packets. Um, they cost a lot less and they last forever as well. And it's a lot much bigger quantity because if you buy canned already like beans and stuff like that, there's only, you know, so much you can buy anyway. Uh, if you buy raw, you have to cook it for several hours. That's why people don't buy it. But back in the day, you know, people didn't have ready cooked um grains and beans so that's a good one to get and plus you know you don't know what's going to happen so you can use that later obviously pasta is good as well but i understand that there's no pasta there's pasta shortage in the world you can always make homemade pasta as well but it's not going to last you long um other things wait i've got my list here so other things like you need to buy maybe like canned fish if you can find it like canned tuna salmon sardines any type of fish uh you can also buy canned meat which is you know lasts you for a really long time um pulses basically beans um wheat so you can get flour because with flour you can make a lot of things but i couldn't actually find any flour or sugar um so i don't know how i'm gonna bake my cakes now I guess no cakes for now. I still have some flour at home, so it's all right. Um, important other things that people forget to buy is things like drugs, you know, paracetamol. Um, you know, if you're not feeling well, you know, you want to get some things like for your throat, um, for your nose, whatever. You know, if you've got prescription medicine, then you might want to go to the pharmacies and get all of that stuff, you know in advance vitamins it's really important to drink a lot of vitamins in this period um i already drink vitamins because my immune system is a bit weak at the moment as some of you maybe watched uh, my stories on instagram when i was in bali uh, i had to go to the hospital because basically my immune system uh, was uh, compromised due to a lot of stress last year so Anyway, so I need to be mostly very cautious. So I'm drinking a lot of vitamins like vitamin D, zinc, uh, iron, uh, multiple vitamins, vitamin D. So basically all the good vitamins that you can get. So um, other things that you need to think about is your pets. So if you're running out of pet food, make sure you get like the pet food supplies enough. Or if you have enough for a couple of weeks, um, or a month that should be okay if you've got babies make sure you get all the baby supplies and stuff like that other things that are good there's a lot of vegetables right now so you can buy lots of vegetables and make soups and freeze them um it's just really convenient now or you can buy canned soups as well um also buy vinegar vinegar is really good for many many things uh it's definitely a good one to have i uh, get some vodka <laughs> that's like a latvian speaking in me Get some vodka, get some alcohol, um, you know, uh, because it also kills bacteria. My dad is telling me to drink like a little bit every day <laughs> to kill, disinfect your body. But it's true to some extent. Obviously, you don't need to get drunk or anything like that. Uh, but you can have a tiny bit maybe with your tea or whatever. Um, but definitely stuck up on some booze anyway. You know, it's more fun. 
if you're obviously over 18 or 21 i guess in some countries um but yeah like these are the main things that you should get um hopefully this was helpful hopefully um you don't have to panic you know um i i obviously i i'm you know not stressing out about anything like this you know even now going to the shops it's just more of a like people really are you know panic buying um but my advice is literally get stuff that's high in calories uh fat will last you a while um because you know things like butter things like cheese and all of that stuff you can freeze especially like cheese um i also have a freezer i have a freezer in my room as some of you know <laughs> i'll show you so this giant freezer is in my bedroom and that's because i use it for my cakes so i'm gonna show you what's inside <laughs> i've got my cakes i've got like stack of like all the desserts here i've got some macarons like different cakes i also have a lot of meal preps here that i've done before so um this is actually uh lunch and stuff like that that i've ordered before so i've got a lot of food in here um which is great and this is my third freezer i actually have three freezers in my house <laughs> but guys um i just think you know like don't panic buy a lot of things and hopefully this was helpful um i will release a couple more videos uh over the next few days just to show you what you can make uh, maybe some sort of casseroles or something that's easy and um you can just you can just make that and freeze that if you're worried and then you'll have some homemade healthy ready meals at home um and i'll also make a couple of soups maybe i need to go and do another shop uh, to get some vegetables as i didn't actually get that many vegetables it's just it was quite heavy bag i also asked you on instagram if you have any questions and need help so one of the questions was what to do if i don't have a freezer uh, where to stock up the food so my suggestion in that case is to stock up on just dry foods like porridge muesli um if you're trying to be healthy you can make um stews um that last up to four or five days in the fridge uh with vegetables meat and stuff like that but really the food that's not going to go off for two weeks without a freezer is mainly like you know beans chickpeas and like I said, buy them in bags, not cooked already. So that way you have control how much you cook and stuff like that. Obviously, um, canned, all the canned food will work. Um, any type of canned food, vegetables, meat, fish. Um, because freeze obviously makes it a bit easier in the sense that you can control what to put in a freezer. So if you really can't get a freezer or, you know, uh, you don't have one and you're not going to get one, then just stock up on the dry ingredients. I really hope that helps. <laughs> Another question that was asked, can coronavirus be passed through the food? And the answer is no. At the moment, there's no evidence that suggests that food can be passed um, with the virus. Uh, virus needs a host, so it's either an animal or human. So there's no way you can get virus from eating food or cooking food and stuff like that. Other things like, you know, obviously, if you're in a food industry and you're selling food or you're trading food, you know, you have to have all these rules like heightened up and um, just be careful where you go and eat again. Make sure the hygiene ratings are high. I mean, that's usually the standard anyway. But now with the virus going on, it's more the people that can pass on the virus rather than the food itself. But if they haven't, you know, washed their hands or whatever, you might just get sick, not even from the virus, but just generally. So that's important. I do just advise to cook home right now because you're in control. And, you know, with these kind of things, when you don't know what's happening and there's so much uncertainty and you're not sure, like, what's happening, where, what's true, what's not, just best to cook homemade meals with things that you know they're in your house with your clean hands you know so there's lots of recipes on my channel uh that you can make there's lots of easy ones uh if you've never cooked before there's so many simple stuff now uh you can check and get an access uh, and become a member and um get access to like 500 recipes on my website which is amazing and um i'll be posting some recipes again and i always like try and help you as much as i can guys so yeah anyway let me know what are your thoughts at the moment what are you you know thinking about and yeah just stay safe and 
lots of love and, and uh, positivity to you all. Lastly, if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends. Uh, make sure that everyone's aware. Um, if they're feeling stressed out, maybe like this can help them and just to relax them and calm them down. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Subscribe. Bye.